This is my son Justin's bedroom. It's in serious need of a makeover. He's 16 years old, and it's time for a fresh new look. What I don't like about my room is the dark colors, dim lights, and chipping paint throughout the room. My plan is to paint the walls, make a new headboard, paint the dresser, make new bedding and window treatments, and change the lighting. The budget for Justin's room is $1,000. Let's get your dad in here to help us empty the room. Okay guys, the first thing we want to do is wipe down these walls and then we'll spackle, okay? okay? The reason why we wipe the walls is so any dust doesn't roll into the paint and we get a smooth finish. Okay Justin, I'll start up here. See how I just fill that and then straight edge. So this paint that we're using has the primer already in it. So we don't have to prime the walls and then do another color on top in paint. It's all in one. Okay. Instead of taping, I just cut into the paint. It saves a ton of time. I like to just get a straight edge that way. Well, Justin, we've made a lot of progress, but we still have a lot to go. So let's get rolling. Sounds good. Okay. We've made a lot of progress on my son Justin's bedroom. He's a teenager, so I wanted to give him a nice, sophisticated look. I'm an interior decorator, but I haven't had the time to do his bedroom until now. What I don't like about my room is the dark colors, dim lights, and chipping paint. So far, we've painted his walls, trim, and ceiling. Justin, we're going to make you a nice, cool custom headboard. And we're going to use just regular wood that you use to build a fence. Okay. Let's get started. All right. You want to do one? Sure. Let's lay out the pieces we've cut to see how much more we need. It looks pretty good. Let's get it sanded and stained. All right, Justin, it's time to tackle the dresser. Okay. Let's give it a light sanding before we paint it. Okay. okay. Just want to get most of the sanded particles off the dresser so it doesn't pick up in your paint. I'm using oil-based paint because it's very durable and the finish lasts longer. You said you wanted to do some artwork for your room. You still up to it? Yeah, sounds good. All right. The piece of art is comprised of vinyl spackling and acrylic paint, and it's gonna have a lot of textures and layers. I'm really happy about what we've gotten done today, and I can't wait to see what Justin's created for his room. It's the last day of the bedroom redesign for my teenage son, Justin. I'm a busy interior decorator, but I've made time to get his room done. So far, we've painted the walls and trim, made a custom headboard, painted the dresser, and Justin made some new artwork for his walls. I've made the custom drapes and the decorative pillows, and today I'm going to finish up the bed skirt. Justin, you've helped me so much with this room, but I think I'm gonna have you step out so I can finish it up. Okay. It's time to get the furniture back in the room with a little help from my husband. Now I'm gonna hang the lamps. I think these floating nightstands are gonna look great. One thing to remember when you're working with patterns in your sewing, make sure that they match up. I just need to place a few accessories and I'm done. Wow. That's pretty awesome, Mom. You like it? Yeah, it's great. When I first walked into the room, I noticed how everything was like different and how much I liked it. The budget for Justin's bedroom was $1,000. We actually spent $430.14. We were able to save quite a bit of money doing it ourselves. Posting the picture is a great way to show it to my friends. I think they'd like the way it looks and I'm really excited.